In the intro, they show the Jonin Sensei and their respective Genin from least important to most important. Kurenai has Shino, Kiba, Hinata. Asuma has Choji, Ino, and Shikamaru. And Kakashi has Sakura, Sasuke, and Naruto. But the interesting one is that Guy has Tenten, Lee, then Neji. Showing that Lee isn't as important to the story right now as Neji. This episode starts off with Naruto being nervous for his fight against Neji, and my question is, isn't this like completely out of character? I would go further and talk about how weird it is, but to be honest, there's really no point. He gets over it in this episode, and it sets up really good moments with Hinata. Here you go! Uh, um, Mr. Chef? Just eat it. W Chef. Literal day one, by the way. All this talk about how Aruka is day one? No, no, no. Chef. So tomorrow, huh? Yeah. It actually makes sense there would be this kind of silence and almost nervousness from these two. They might die tomorrow carrying out an attack that we know at least Tamari doesn't agree with. It further shows that shinobis are tools and their opinions really don't matter. Tomorrow is a full moon. Let's talk about this now. It actually makes sense that it would be a full moon on the day of the invasion. The day Dosu gets knocked off, the moon is full, and that was exactly a month ago. There's a little Kakashi doll in Naruto's window, but for some reason his hair is brown. Maybe it's just like a ninja doll. Who knows? Some of you might remember, and honestly, I'm hoping you don't, but in episode two, I looked at Naruto's bedroom. So let's just see how it holds up. It still has the plant, the big pipe on the wall too, that checks out. He still has the blue towel or whatever is behind him. He still has the leaf poster. And yeah, he still has the obnoxious yellow comforter, or blanket. I don't really know what that is. The only actual change to his room is his calendar, which for some reason only goes to 27 and stops there. At last it begins. Low fun fact, and when I mean fun fact, I don't mean it, but Hiruzen canonically fucking dies today. That might be hard to notice considering he dies in 21 episodes, but yeah, it's putrid. I know. Hinata? <laughs> Very smooth. Neji, he's a cousin of yours, right? I see how Naruto can mix that up, honestly. They look pretty similar, but they're not. You need a source? Uh, it's the internet. <laughs> you don't need one. You still might be able to win, Naruto. <laughs> yeah, I'm strong too, after all. <laughs> Although, yeah, Naruto being nervous and not confident in himself does feel unnatural, I will say this. His lack of confidence here is done in a way where it allows the audience to relate, and I honestly think that's what the goal was. The whole thing is basically saying be confident because people believe in you, and also just saying, you know, be confident in yourself. Which, again, I don't think it's done well, but there's really no point to hate on it. To anybody else, it might look like absolutely nothing's changed about me, but I feel different, like I'm a better person now. This reinforces what I said during the preliminaries. Yeah, Hinata physically lost that fight, but she mentally won since she grew. I may look strong to you, but all I ever do is mess things up. I act tough because I'm so frustrated, but underneath it all, I just feel like I'm a huge failure. No, that's not true! Let's talk about Naruto's character growth for the past few episodes. Ever since we've seen Naruto's mind, we've seen a much more interesting character. He's been unsure of himself, and we've seen more overall darker tones through Naruto's character. And it's because those past few episodes have gave us a look at who Naruto really is inside. And characters who hide their insecurities through a tough side or mask their real emotions have the most potential for character growth because at the end of the day, they're extremely flawed for that reason. So I guess what I'm trying to say, minus the yap, is that it's good that it's being touched on and shown to us because it makes us root for Naruto more than we are. But when you do make a mistake, you have the guts to pick yourself up and keep trying. I think that courage is what real strength is. This is a low-key message to the viewer, but it also plants that idea in Naruto's head. And it's gonna be pretty big going forward. I also really like the reaction Naruto gives to it too, showing that it's something he never really thought of and how Hinata kind of unintentionally gave him a lot of confidence just by being honest. This whole interaction is just really good, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Thanks Hinata, I needed that. Even though I'm completely used to being the underdog, I guess this time I was just really feeling the strain. This is also another reason I'm not hating on Naruto's random feeling of self-doubt. He just chalks it up to coincidence, and yeah, that kind of makes sense. I kind of thought you were, um... What? What? Gloomy, timid, always terrified, and basically completely weird. Elris. I actually like... <sighs> people like you w riz i gotta get going and fast oh man i'm gonna be late see you later hinata 
You know how Naruto says he's got to get going? Yeah, it kind of just looks like he's running in place and the camera is just zooming out. Huh? Hey, what's with you? If you slow this scene down really slow, there's someone with Shikamaru's almost exact outfit. Granted, it looks different for uh, different reasons, but it's got the same like net things and pants that are too small. There's no way I'll make it in time. Hey, Naruto! Ah, fuck. The shortcut got a little longer, I guess. Like you're wasting everyone's time. It's just annoying. I hate you. Big yikes. Beefing with a fictional character. That actually might be a new low. Oh my god. Just ride this guy here, and you'll get to the arena before you even know it. <laughs> Thanks, Konohamaru. Thanks, Bull. Very cool. Huh? Hey, wait! Where's Sasuke? It's actually good they bring this up. Because to be honest, even with Sasuke being a main character, with this many people, it's kind of easy to lose him. You guys are the heroes of this final competition. Well, some of them aren't. Like three to be exact. You can probably tell, but I think this episode is not that good. The only genuinely good thing in this episode, in my opinion, was the literal last scene in the arena and the interaction with Naruto and Hinata. But although I don't really like this episode, I can respect its purpose, which is essentially to give us one more deep breath before the third exam and the attack begins. But the rest is just, like, not good. Konohamaru is the most annoying character in this show, and the rest of it is a lot of sitting down with no real purpose to it. Can't tell if you tell already how little of a fuck I'm, I cared. For making this episode. And yeah, that's my thoughts. Next episode, Byakugan versus Shadow Clone Jutsu. This is the shortest episode name since like preliminaries. Fucking hell.